So, I will now make a short introduction to the Nedemann Benchtop Extraction Arms product range. The smallest arm is a 32 mm or 1 inch and a quarter self supporting arm for smaller airflows. We, ha we have a small extraction arm, 50 mm in diameter, suitable for about 110 cubic meter per hour in extraction capacity. It comes in various lengths, 700, 1100 and 1500 millimeters. The arm has an integrated brake, you can release here, adjust in this direction and then tighten it easy like that. The links are also easy to adjust, you release here, adjust the link into the side position and tighten the knot. And it has a good joint here, which means that it will stay in position and will not move around. The Nederman FX arms, they have integrated dampers, so you can open and close them just simply by adjusting like that. The arm also comes in a 75 mm version. It then has a capacity of about 240 cubic meter per hour. Otherwise, it has exactly the same features as the smaller 50 mm arm, but it comes in lengths of um, 1100 and 1500 millimeters. The arms come also in different materials. The original one is in aluminum without any particular treatment, but you can also have this with the painted, special painted and treated aluminum for chemically demanding and aggressive. Uh, dust or fumes. The arm also comes in a EX or ESD version, suitable for explosive dust or when you work with electronic components and vapors from that kind of manufacturing, so you will not charge any uh, statical electricity through the arm. You can install the uh, arm in different ways. One way, for example, is on a table like this. So this is an accessory that you can buy and you install the, the arm close to the table, like this. You can install also the arm by drilling a hole through a desktop like this and just put a collar. You can install the arm from a vertical position like this with a wall bracket in here, an aluminum tube like this, which you can adjust in length, connect it to the swivel unit that comes with the arm. You can also install the arm with ducts coming through an inner ceiling. You use the same swivel as for the wall mounted version, but then you use a longer aluminum tube that connects to the, to the roof with the same type of wall bracket as before. And then you have a special cover which you can buy as an accessory and install covering where, you have, where the arms comes through the inner ceiling. The Extraction arm is always delivered with a small multi-purpose hood, like that. As an accessory you can always get a bigger metal hood, like this. And actually it just installed with four bolts on top of the hood that always comes with the, with the arm. As an accessory you can have a universal hood, a transparent hood, so you can see what you're doing while you're working beneath the hood. The universal hood also comes in an ESD or EX version, but then it is black. You can also have a smaller flange hood, either in a white version or it also is available in a black version, again for ESD or EX applications. For demonstration purposes we have in this case installed the arms in a cent small central system with a Nederman fan and also with the fan inverter in order to save energy and uh, always have the same and right e extraction capacity in the various arms. If you want just to install one fan per one arm you can have a Nederman N3 fan and an integrated filter. Here you can easily adjust the fan speed with the enclosed device. So 
This is the N3 fan that can serve either three 32 millimeter arms, two 50 millimeter arms, or one 75 millimeter arms.